Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. It said, The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah. So the king's heart, the king's mind is in the hand of Yahweh Hashem Yahushah. So uh, Joe Biden, as we speak right now, he's the king of Babylon. Okay? Now, he got people behind the scenes that's telling him what he, what he can and can't do, which is the Rothschild. Okay? The bank of the the so-called Jews. They run everything. But Joe Biden is a king. So he's telling, so the elite is telling Joe Biden what he can and can't do. And the elite is making money on all, all this situation. And what's going to happen is, then the elite's going to go so far to where they can't turn it back for America. And America will get destroyed. And it's the heavenly father that's got the mind of whoever is going to rule being a king in, in, in uh, America by using the Rothschilds and the elite, and then he got the mind of the Russians over there to, to watch America and the things that they do, they gonna disagree with them, pursuing this, uh, Ezekiel 38, okay? They gonna have an evil thought, and they gonna disagree with America, and they gonna let America have it. Go ahead, bro. This, and the rivers of water, mm -hmm. He turned it whatsoever he will. He turned it whatsoever he will. So he turned the mind of the king whatsoever he will, man. So the will of the heavenly father is to keep them divided and make them go to war, man. And as you can see, Vladimir Putin is talking to the country party. He said, look, y'all don't know what y'all doing with some of y'all uh, power for money. Y'all don't know what y'all doing. Y'all don't see it. You know what I'm saying? So they didn't find ways uh, around uh, the SWIFT system, okay, and around the dollar, man, which when you, you got a movie called uh, uh, Jack Ryan, uh, I think it's called Shadow Recruit, let me look at it, Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit, let me see if that's it, it's a movie called Jack Ryan, y'all better be on the video fire here. Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. Okay, this is this uh this movie came out. This Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. Okay. This movie, this Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit came out in 2014, right? And in this movie. It tells you that Russia is going to dump the dollar, okay, and all these nations going to follow suit in this movie right here. But it wasn't a Russia that dumped the dollar. It's America that cut Russia off and made Russia find another way uh, to maneuver around the dollar and the other nations see that. So in this movie, in 2014, they were already talking about the situation, the financial situation concerning Russia, man. And Jack Ryan shadow recruit, man, in this movie, man, in 2014. So they were already talking about it in 2014 concerning financial situation with Russia, man. You see? It's out there, man. It's out there. So the elite behind the scenes knew concerning the uh the dollar situation, something was gonna take place. With Russia, man, and the other nations are gonna follow suit, and that's what's happening, man. They watching Russia maneuver around that dollar. They were like, "Look, we need to follow Russia, right? Because next it could be us." Yep. You see? So read what you got in Proverbs again. All right, this is Proverbs chapter twenty-one, verse one. Mm -hmm. The king's heart is in the hands of Yahweh by some mm -hmm. as the rivers of water. He turneth it whatsoever he will. All right, give me James the fifth chapter. He turneth whatsoever he will. So the plan of the heavenly father and his son is to keep uh, the Edomites that's ruling the son of Russia and the Americans and other European nations and these rocks out divided, right? And focus on uh, 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 war. Because that was in the era, war, man. Rumors of war, news of war, that's what's in the air, man. We learned about it, man. And the reason why uh, Vladimir Putin did an interview with Tucker Carlson is because we, they were saying on RT News International, they were saying that Putin was saying that it's a way to get uh, an audience 
uh, in America. That's the reason why he was, uh, he did a video, uh, uh, an interview with Tucker Carlson because it was to get an audience in America. You know, it was a way to get information out for the people, the audience in America. But these people over in sleep, man. These people over in sleep, man. You get James Fifth Chapter. These people over in sleep, man. You see? You know, so read that from a woman time out. This is Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of, the, of Yahweh by some Yahweh shot, mm -hmm. as the rivers of water. Mm -hmm. He turned it with whithersoever he will. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's the that's the plans of Yahweh Shimon Shah to control uh Esau Edom on the left hand side, man. Come upon you. See? Go read the fucking again. James chapter 5, verse 1. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your misery that read. shall come upon you. See? Because that dollar is the that dollar was allowing <coughs> 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 I'll get dry, but that dollar. That dollar is a key for these Edomites' power, man. Right? So they said it was like the corner, cornerstone. Yeah, the cornerstone, the foundation. You see? The foundation of these Edomite rulers is the dollar, man. Right? And all these nations were clinging to that dollar to make transactions. Now when they when they did that, when they when they took on the dollar to trade in the dollar. They didn't think America was going to use it as a weapon. They thought America was going to stay neutral. They thought America was going to stay neutral, and whatever situation pop up, they were looking at it like America going to stay out the way. You know, they're not going to get involved in uh, the war that's going on over here, the war that's going on over here, the war that's going on over here. They thought America would stay out of it. That's why they agreed to all accept their dollar as like, a world currency. But now they start to see that America is using as a weapon and America being the police in the earth and sticking their nose in everybody's business. And when they stuck their nose in what's a business, that's what got it. That's what got it. So read what you got. So James 5 and 1. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your misery that shall come upon you. Because that's going to come upon the watch out. And see, with this central bank digital currency, they see that they see, well, they killing the dollar. They killing the dollar. Even Putin said that you cut your own self off. They killing the dollar. But what they gonna do is transition over to the central bank digital currency. Okay? They gonna go digital with this money, and you know the end game is the chip. But they gonna go there trying to stay in power and it's not gonna work. Okay, they gonna go there to try to save their 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 power structure and their grip on the world like they got it right now with that dollar. They gonna try to go there to save and, and, and keep a grip on the world. Even the Putin them gonna go digital, but they don't want America to control it. They wanna do their own thing. But see, America gonna try to control everybody still like they got them under control with their dollar and that's gonna get them destroyed, right? And when they chip everybody, they're going to get them destroyed. But they're not going to chip everybody, but I'm just Come. speaking. You know what I'm saying? They're going to try to. You know what I'm saying? The elect not going to get chipped. But go ahead, bro. Oh, T1? Yeah. Uh, verse 2. Your riches are corrupted. Your riches are corrupt. Okay? Because that dollar bill uh, is a false balance. And it's corrupt. Okay? 
is a false value. Real riches is gold, silver, land, you know what I'm saying, cattle, things of that nature. That dollar bill is not, it's, it's just toilet paper. You see what I'm saying? It's not backed by gold and silver. It's just toilet paper. So it's corrupt. It's a false balance. It's an abomination. Go ahead. And your garments are moth-eating. So your garments is moth-eating. So if a garment eats your, uh, if a garment, if a garment is moth-eating, it's no good. You see what I'm saying? You can't got holes in it. It's no good. You need to throw it away. Get rid of it. So that's the same way uh, the Heavenly Father looked at this dog and how you have blanketed, how you have covered yourself with these corrupt riches. Okay, go ahead. Your gold and silver is tankered, mm -hmm. and the rest of them shall be a witness against you. So what I want to do is hold that and look that up in the different translations, that particular verse. James chapter 5 verse 3 and this is the New International Version it says your gold and silver are corroded the corrosion will testify against you and eat your flesh like fire you have hoarded wealth in the last days you have hoarded wealth in the last days you see so what you got is corrupt and you have hoarded in the last days because the Rothschilds, they got gold and silver. They got real money, but they pushing that uh, Federal Reserve note to the mass of the people, and then they gonna go digital with the straight up corrupt. Ain't none of that real money. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. This is a New Living Translation. It says your gold and silver are corroded. The very wealth you were counting on will keep away your flesh like fire. Because that's what keeps them in power. Because they look at that, uh, they look at controlling money, and they look at that, uh, they look at controlling money uh, as that's what's gonna keep them in power, not the heavenly father and son. You see? Because Esau Edom think he's the god of money. You see? Go ahead. It says, this corroded treasure you have hoarded will testify against you on the day of judgment. See? Because it ain't gonna help you in the day of judgment. You don't get destroyed. That's not gonna save you. You're not the God of money. You're just a proud devil that's been ruling that the Heavenly Father set up to show his power when he destroy you. Go ahead. This is the Amplified Bible. Mm -hmm. It says, your gold and silver are corroded, and their corrosion will be a witness against you and will consume your flesh mm -hmm. like fire. Mm -hmm. You have stored up your treasure in the last days when it will do you no good. See that? So the wealth that the Rothschilds got, the gold and the silver, you know what I'm saying, behind the scenes, and he's giving everybody the, 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 the Federal Reserve note, and go switch to digital currency, but they gonna have that gold, it's not gonna save them, man. It's not gonna deliver them, man. And them call themselves the God of money, they still gonna get rejected. You see? So stay there, bro, in a different translation. Uh, continue on, I, and whenever I say, uh, go to the next verse to read a different translation, then you, you already be there. So go ahead, bro. So James chapter five, verse three, your gold and silver is cankered, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you. Yep, and judge That's not going to say you're going to be destroyed. Go ahead. And, and, shall eat, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Mm -hmm. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Mm -hmm. Verse 4. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud. So the hire of the laborers, which is us. We're the ones, the Negro Latinos in America is the ones that built up this world in America. You see, you see what I'm saying? We are the chosen people and they took us 
and had us in slavery, right? And we built up everything to where these nations can function in a society because they could do it on their own. They had to grab us, and we had we showed them the way, but we was in slavery, and then we didn't get paid for, for what we had done because we was in slavery. Okay, so we worked for nothing and never got paid. So read for, read what you got again. James chapter five verse four. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept by fraud. Kept back by fraud. You see? Because what? We didn't get paid. We didn't get paid gold and silver. We was in slavery. Okay? And even when we got out of so-called slavery, hardcore bondage, you know what I'm saying? They got us with uh, uh, with contracts. Okay? They got us with contracts where we would sign certain things and we would have to pay taxes and they would take, still take money from them. They never let us free. You know what I'm saying? They never let us free concerning uh, slavery. That's why we pay taxes. The slaves pay taxes. And it's reversed, contrary to popular belief. What we doing is paying our slaves taxes. We the royal people. We supposed to be ruling. So it's reversed. What we doing is paying our slaves taxes because all these other nations supposed to be our slaves. So it's reversed, right? We at the bottom now and start with Esau Edom. They at the top. You see, so the world will reverse. We paying them taxes when the tax folks be coming to us, we the, we, we, we enslaved. So the roles are reversed, man. It's upside down. Go ahead. Uh, behold, the the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your field, which is of you, kept back by fraud, cries, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Sabaoth. Yeah, the Lord of Armies. You see? So the Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father and His Son can hear our cries, you know what I'm saying, concerning the situation that we're in. Look how they defrauding us, man. Look how they oppressing us. Look how we at the bottom, they got everything. The Rothschilds got all the gold and the silver, which belong to us. And when you read James, the Heavenly Father is saying, look, through James, look, the gold that they got, the wealth that they accumulated, it ain't gonna save them. It ain't gonna save them. And it's coming destruction, man. And then Pooh, when you watch that video, Pooh was saying, look, but we tell you, Pooh and other nations gonna uh, assist uh, in taking America down. But we always mention Russia, but it's gonna be other nations. But the Russians have super succeeded in their military capability to where the American proud Edomites ain't got no defense. You see? And guess what the Israelites said? Over here, man. And the most I gonna cook this place and get and get the Israelites to let them out of this place, man. You see? So give me what you continue on. Call that call, call that particular chapter in that verse again and read it from that again. Oh, uh, this is James chapter 5, verse 4. Mm -hmm. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud. Cried, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Seven Oak. Alright, so give me that in the translation, Doc. Alright, this is uh, a <clears throat> this is James chapter 5, verse 4. This is the New International Version. It says, Look, the wages you fail to pay the workers who who both your fields are crying out against you. Mm -hmm. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. So this is the New Living Translation. It says, For listen, hear the cries of the field workers who you have cheated of their pay. The cries of those who harvest your fields have reached the ears of Yahweh Basham Yahweh of heaven's army. So what did the what did the Israelites do? Okay, they work in your field, they built up America. Because you can go into a book, the devastation of the Indies concerning the Northern Kingdom, and I don't even got to name no books concerning the Southern Kingdom. I ain't got to name no books. But for you people who don't know the history of the uh, Northern Kingdom, you can get a book called The Devastation of the Indies, and it'll let you know how, how, how the Northern Kingdom was in the field, man. How they was uh, feeding the women 
how they were putting the women in the field and how they would feed the women certain food to where it would drop the breast milk to where the babies wouldn't uh, be able to get no milk and drop dead, right? See that? They're cutting their stomachs up and pulling the baby out of their stomachs and smashing their heads against rocks. Yeah, yeah, that's in, uh, in a book called American Holocaust. That's in one of them books. But them two good books concerning the situation that the Northern Kingdom went into. When the brother just mentioned, that's another situation right there. So Israel in their captivity in slavery went through hardcore abundance and never got paid for what they were doing as a people, man. They never got paid real money, which is gold and silver, man. Okay? Uh, so, read that from again now. In a uh, different translation? Yeah. Alright, this is uh, James chapter 5, verse 4. This is uh, the New Living Translation. It says, For listen, hear the cries of the field workers whom you have cheated out of cheated of their pay, the cries of those who harvest the fields have reached the ears of Yahweh by son Yahweh Shai and have its, it. its army. Okay. Huh? It says, who? Yeah. It says, uh, have reached the ears of Yahweh by son Yahweh Shai of heaven's army. Of heaven's army. You see? So, that's why when you look up the Lord of Sabaoth, that's what it means. It means the Lord, the Lord of armies of Israel. So, matter of fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all hear it. Oh, I'll turn the volume down. My goodness. <laughs> yeah. I turned the volume down. How you gonna hear that? Too excited, huh? <laughs> Okay, this Strong's, uh, let me blow that up. This Strong G, 45 and 19, right? Y'all heard the definition, Sabaoth, right? I mean, uh, the word, not the definition, y'all heard the word, right? This, and when you look it up, it says, uh, in A, it says, uh, Lord of armies of Israel, as those who are under the leadership and protection, they got Jehovah there, but it's Yahweh. Maintain his cause in war. So, the Lord is for me. You see? So, us crying, matter of fact, let's look up the word cry right there. Let We're going to look up the word cry. You just say cry. Uh, that's it. You just say cry. Oh. Let me see what else we get. Uh, okay. This one right here, I'm gonna go to this one. This is second, this is second entry. Right? This is the root of it. But I O, right? And it's strong, that's a Greek. It's strong G uh, 994, right? But I O, and it means when you cry, looking up that word, we go on to the third definition. It says to cry to one for help, to implore his aid. So we cry to the heavenly father to save us out of his condition. We cry for his help. That's it, right? We cry to the we cry to the Lord of armies for help, man. Right? Because we've been kept back by far. We ain't getting paid real wages, man. Right? And the Heavenly Father said, look, the wealth that you got, that you accumulated by having my people in this condition, that's not gonna save you, man. 